My ex-girlfriend got revenge on me and I'm so broken. I, 25 male, have been with my ex-girlfriend Carly, 23 female, for nearly 10 years. We were high school sweethearts and we had a good relationship up until after she completed college. Adulthood has been putting strain on our relationship, so bills and finding sustaining jobs has been a challenge. We started arguing a bunch and just started overall being annoyed with each other's existence. We weren't sleeping in the same room, let alone being intimate. It was a tough time to say the least. We tried therapy and I felt like it wasn't working. I honestly wanted to be done, but I couldn't break up with her because we lived together and she helped me get out of debt. So I did something horrible and I started cheating on her with her childhood best friend. Ah! What the fuck? I thought she would never find out and oh my gosh, I was wrong. I am a firm believer that the truth will always come out. Always. Yesterday afternoon, I came home and she wanted to talk. And without hesitation, she jumped straight into it and asked me point blank if I was cheating on her. And I, of course, tried to lie. And she just starts laughing and says, I knew you weren't going to admit it, but I was going to give you the benefit of the doubt. So now I feel less guilty. I confessed to her and she just looked at me. She didn't have an expression nor speak. When I finished, she just laughed and told me that I would never forget it. Honestly, it's fine because Louis was over last weekend and we had a great time. My heart dropped to my... <laughs> my heart dropped to my stomach because Louis is my big brother. I just thought it was a low blow on Carly given she knew how insecure I was about my brother. He's a golden child and literally always did things 10 times better than me. I'm stuck having to have some sort of relationship with him and meanwhile she can just drop her friend. My chest and heart have been hurting so much since I found out and I'm so broken. I know I was wrong for cheating first, but if she knew, why didn't she just break up with me first? I called out of work because I feel like throwing up just thinking about it. Oh, I love it when guys can handle a taste of their own medicine. If you knew I was cheating, why didn't you just break up with me? You could have broke up with her too. Bye. I love this, but oh my god. Ah. Am I wrong for deciding that I won't let my boyfriend be a stay-at-home dad after I said that he could be? My boyfriend, 26 male, and I, 27 female, have been together for five years. I make around 140000 a year working as a QA manager, and he makes forty to 50000 as a forklift driver. He's never really been into working, so we've talked about him being a stay-at-home dad. Initially, I did agree because childcare is honestly really expensive, and we do want two kids, at least. But seven months ago, he lost his job when there was a push for unionization and some people were bullied out. He was without a job and I agreed to cover living expenses fully if he does housework and cooks. In these seven months, I come home to empty beer bottles, trash on the coffee table, and an empty fridge. He never goes grocery shopping and when he does, it's literally mostly junk food. Mind you, when we originally agreed, he said he would cook and he's maybe made me four meals. Four meals! So I still do most of the cooking and cleaning and I can't imagine him as a stay-at-home dad. Am I wrong for deciding that I won't let my boyfriend be a stay-at-home dad after I said he could be? He just got a job but that's finally in response to me putting my foot down that I'm no longer supporting him. My mom was a stay-at-home mom and had four kids and kept a spotless house and cooked every meal from scratch. We've been fighting about this a lot recently and I said if we do have kids, he has to work because he's not contributing at all. And if he's not doing it now, I can't imagine that he'll do anything as a stay-at-home dad. He yelled that he has to apply for jobs and he's under a lot of stress, but what's the stress? He has everything taken care of and he barely applies to one to two jobs a day. He basically did nothing that we agreed upon and now I just don't know how to move forward in this relationship. Update says, thanks for all the comments. I've decided to end the relationship and will tell him this afternoon. This made me realize how resentful and unhappy I am with him and that it's unlikely to change. Many people are also saying he may have depression and though he's never mentioned that, it could be the reason. My wife bought a house without telling me. I snooped and found more stuff. I think my marriage might be over. I really am lost on what to do now. We've been married for five years. I'm 33, she's 25. And she's always been a private loner type, but this is too much in my opinion. I have a gym membership I was trying to get canceled and was looking for bank statements in our home office area. And I found a deed to a house. 
and debt consolidation information and eventually a deed to a house that was bought in 2020 in my wife's home state, eight hours away from where we live now. I saw Red and thought she was cheating or had another lover and confronted her. She was surprised but didn't act like she did anything wrong because she used her money. My wife worked with other developers on a software product that was eventually bought for a decent sum and when her parents passed away, she received all of their assets as their only child. So she technically does not need work for the rest of her life, she just chooses to. She told me that she brought it up years ago that she wanted to have her own place that can be used for vacations or rental property, but that in the case of a divorce, she wants a place that's hers as our prenup states that the house will go to me. Yes, I do remember this conversation, but she never told me she had bought the place or had actually done it, so I find that pretty fishy. It sounds like you have listening problems. The conversation happened, buddy. After the conversation, I started snooping while she was at work the next day because I couldn't sleep. When we met, she was upfront about not wanting kids. I asked a little bit before I proposed and she said she for sure did not want them. I told her that I did and she said that she would be willing to adopt a child above the age of two but not willing to have it herself. Didn't make sense to me, but adoption is A-OK -okay in my book. We started the adoption process in October and are still being verified and getting our backgrounds checked. But while looking through her computers, I saw she had reached out about getting her tubes tied and contacted her health insurance company about coverage and specific doctors in the network. So I know she is pretty serious and didn't look it up on a whim. I went back and asked her about it and she said she always told me that she doesn't want kids and she isn't hiding anything and told me it is only common sense to prevent pregnancy before she gets stuck with one. I called her out on her word usage and said I'm not sure she would be a good mother. She snapped on me and called me an unrealistic fool. She still made us our breakfast and packed my lunch for my night shift. But I can tell from how she packed it, she's still mad. She usually makes cute bento style lunch boxes for me every day and today was just leftover meat and fresh sides, not fresh everything. I told her if she had something to say to me, she should say it, but that I'm not okay with her trying to make life altering decisions without even talking to me. She was taking a bath and just pulled the curtain and ignored me. I can't talk to any of my buddies about this because they've already said I should have left her years ago, but the reasoning on why is something I don't fully agree with and they won't offer me real advice. She feels like I'm overstepping and doesn't listen when she talks, something we've had a problem with since we started dating. And I feel like she's too independent. I want to make things work and I'm just really stuck here on which one of us is not being understanding enough or how to get past this. Okay, so from what it sounds like, she's clearly told you that I want to have a property to myself in case we get divorced or as a vacation or as a separate income and that she doesn't want kids. She's pretty clear on what she wants and doesn't want in life. What are you not understanding? Am I wrong for telling my mom's new boyfriend that he's not really considered grandpa and telling him my sister's baby won't be calling him that name? My sister just had her second baby about four weeks ago and as usual, everyone's really excited. Everyone, including my mom's new boyfriend of almost a year, let's call him Gabe. Gabe is pretty cool and all around he's a fun guy to be around but to be honest neither me or my siblings consider him a father figure. Or someone close, I mean we're all pretty much grown up and have our own lives so what men our mother sleeps with has literally nothing to do with us. Also, I'm not sure if it matters but our real dad has been out of our lives since we were little. But yeah, my sister had her baby and everything was great until I went to visit. She told me mom and her new boyfriend came over and brought gifts, but she was super uncomfortable with the man she considers a stranger holding her daughter. I was inclined to agree. Although Gabe was nice and had given her money here and there, he's not really our dad, so I get it. Am I wrong for telling my mom's new boyfriend that he's really not considered grandpa and telling him my sister's baby won't be calling him that name? I ended up telling my mom's boyfriend that it's not likely he'll be any kind of grandpa to my niece. This was not out of the blue as he had mentioned how he felt there was some tension between us and him and I simply felt like being honest. This obviously hurt his feelings and as a result he went pretty quiet. My mother was somewhat mad at me for saying this, saying things like, well, if you guys bother to visit more, maybe you consider him a dad. And that he's a good man, better than your father ever was. He apparently holds no hard feelings, but I have to say the interactions we've had are definitely more awkward. So now my mom wants me to apologize to him and also wants my sister to welcome him as grandpa. Since he apparently has no kids of his own at this point and is missing out on the experience. But I don't know, I feel like we, my sister especially, have every right to feel this way about him. Am I wrong? <laughs> 